And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at MacGyver, the escape room game from Pressman. Now, this, when I first saw it, I saw MacGyver's picture and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, it's a, some game based on MacGyver that's in that 80s nostalgic era, and people really like MacGyver. To clarify, I don't dislike MacGyver, but meh, I could take him or leave him, and I don't you know, have any like real hold with the show at all. Um, if you've never heard of MacGyver, it's about a guy who manages to get out of a lot of tricky situations by using a paper clip or shoelaces or whatever he might have on hand. So this, though, intrigued me not because of MacGyver, but because it's an escape room game. And I tend to really enjoy escape room games. This is a game that is a one-time playthrough, although in this particular one, there are five different things in the box. But you play through them one time, and you might have to bend, fold, cut, whatever, uh, to solve a puzzle with your friends. It's a group of people can play it, and you go through these. And in this one, you're trying to be MacGyver. Here's a little bit about how it plays. No spoilers. So as you're playing through MacGyver, you're going to get a big folder based on what mission it is. So mission one, mission two, here's mission four. And inside these, you're gonna open the envelope and it might tell you some items that you need that you would need from another mission to, to do this mission and you'll open it up. There's a little instruction sheet that tells you how to play the whole game. And other than that, each mission's gonna be different. You have a utility bag, and in this bag you're going to keep pieces that you might need from one scenario to the next. There also might be some envelopes in here that say do not open until it tells you open the red envelope and pull those things out. And each mission usually comes like this. It has an introduction. I'm not going to show much of it here. And it will show do not open these seals. And once you open a seal, you'll be maybe be able to open a book in a specific way and then open it more until this whole thing folds out. And these envelopes will probably have pieces that you'll need. You will also need to use a website. So it's MacGyverGame.com. And on this website, you'll pick which mission you want to do. So let's say I'm going to do the first mission. It says I've already finished it, so I want to play it again. And so then you can pick, do you want to do an easy version, not timed, a medium version, which gives you 75 minutes, or a hard version that's 45 minutes. So let's say I pick hard. It will tell you to open the envelope to remove all this stuff, then hit next. And then it says, MacGyver will need to reflect to find the hidden word in the laser center into the keypad. And so down here, I would just type whatever the word is. If I'm incorrect, I would lose one minute from my time. As you can see, it keeps dropping a minute from the time there every time I'm incorrect. Now, I'm not going to show you all the different things that this does here, but you'll notice there's a hint up here. You can click on that, and it will give you a hint. You can also, sometimes... When you're doing one of these, it will have buttons here on the screen, or maybe you need to drag stuff from one spot to another to finish something. Uh, this is not always going to be enter a word. It's, it is a fully interactive program, so you're going to need to figure out what to do each time that you play it. Uh, and it will tell you, it will say on here, open the red envelope, and then you open the red envelope and keep going. But it will basically say, to go to the next one, you're going to always have to put something in on this computer, whether it's a password, whether it's showing how one line connects to another, whether it's clicking the correct picture out of a group of pictures, or whatever it is. And then we'll tell you when you're finished, and you hopefully will beat the time as it's counting down up here. Once you're done with one mission, you can go to the next. You do not need to know anything from one mission to another. They don't really correlate that way, although there's a piece or so that's included in the envelopes that would be needed in future ones. So you do need to play them in order. But I could go back and, uh, like, let's say I was sitting at a table with a group of people and they were playing about to play Mission 3. I could do that without having played Mission 1 or 2. There's no prerequisites for that. Now, it's always hard to review these without really spoiling anything, but I, I, I think I can talk about it a little bit here without ruining anything for you playing it. Uh, first of all, I really enjoyed these. Uh, there was five cases in here. I had a lot of fun going through them, and there was some neat things. It's not perfect. A, I don't really like the cover. I know it's not nostalgic for people, but this cover is the kind of cover that, had I not happened to see the word escape room on the game on here, I would have walked right by it in the store. So, yeah, but... And secondly, 
you have to have the internet for the program to work. Now the program's fine and everything, but you have to have the internet and it's kind of weird that it's an internet program and there's no app because it seems like it would have made sense for this to be an app. It seems like that would have worked a lot better. Uh, and I did, I wasn't a huge fan of the very, very final puzzle. I thought it was a letdown after all the other really cool puzzles that are in here. But maybe you will like the final puzzle. That might just be a personal preference thing. Now, as for the puzzles themselves, there were a few puzzles when I went through this where I was like, I know how to do this. Because I've seen that particular puzzle in another Escape Room games. And the more of these I play, the probably more and more that's going to happen. I can't fault it for that. I will say that these were not that difficult compared to many of the other escape room games out there. I wouldn't say they were necessarily easy, but I will say we played on the hard level and we beat every single one of them on the hard level. There were twice where we got really stumped. One was because we overthought the puzzle. We were sitting there thinking, okay, this, 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 and it was just a really simple solution. And I found that a lot of puzzles in here are simpler than you might think. One of the puzzles, is the sort of puzzle I would put on an algebra test, actually. Um, one of the puzzles is something unique in this game that I have not seen before that I really enjoyed. And one of the puzzles we got stuck at because I knew what the puzzle was, I just wasn't good at doing that particular type of puzzle. And so, yeah, we got stuck on that one for a while just because we, we had a hard time. We, we knew what to do. It was just a difficult type of puzzle for us. Um, but for, like I said, for the most part, we just blew through these. Uh, they took about half an hour each, so that's about two and a half hours worth of play we got from this, which I think is fantastic. I know some people don't like to play once and then get rid of, especially in a situation like this because you can't give it to somebody else. There's stuff in here that will get destroyed. But I really had a good time doing it. I played this through with, as, as a two-person team, me and one other person. We went through all of them, and we liked it so much that as soon as we were done with one, we went right to the next, right to the next, right to the next, and we had a great time. Now, the question is, is it MacGyver? Is, is it MacGyver? Yes. Um, what would you expect to be in here? It might be in here. Not everything. There's no chewing gum. Um, but uh, there's, there's, some, there's some interesting little devices and things in here, and I thought the theme came out pretty well. But if you don't know anything about MacGyver, you still can have fun playing it, you know, like, oh, he's trying to stop a plane from crashing at one point, and how do you do that? Well, the, anybody could have been in that situation. So I really like this. I don't know where I would put it in, right now in the pantheon of escape room games, but it's one that I really had a lot of fun with. I enjoy the fact that there are five different cases in here. I don't need my escape room games to be extremely hard. Sometimes I just want to play and have fun as a family style game, and this one works really well in that regard. And like I said, there were one or two puzzles in here where I said, that's really clever and fun. I haven't seen that before. That was very enjoyable. So I recommend this one a lot. MacGyver, the escape room game. Dice Tower Judgment, excellent!